Are we on? <laughs> Hi guys, it's Matt Mills here for Anti Hero Magazine, and I am here with Tony Demolition Man Dolan. Hello, hello, hello. And hello. his cock as well. Oh, yes, I got my co I'll get my cock out. Get your cock out on camera. There you go. <laughs> That's my cock. It's small, but it's beautiful. Oh, isn't it? we're going to get demonetized on YouTube for that. Yes. Yeah, we're gonna, oh yeah, we're gonna no, get... I mean, we can censor it. It can blur yeah. that bit, pixelate my cock. <laughs> you blur it. Pixelate my cock. Oh, it's so I good. I my cock pixelated. Actually, I want to know how that feels. There's a first time for everything. Yes, exactly. Yeah. You're going to do it, right. Perfect. Yeah, uh, That's it. Thomas in editing, you need to blur out his cock. Yeah, Thomas, uh, he's going to pixelate my cock. There you go. Perfect. Anyway, you're here. Yes. <laughs> yes. Let's talk about music for a change. Okay. Oh, so, you go first. Okay. Yeah. So you are here with Venom Inc. Are we? Obviously. Am I? Oh yes, I uh, am. Yeah, I think so. Yes. Um, I thought I just bought my cock, but yes. And, and that's that was someone been. else that I just saw in the it main stage. It could have been. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Because yeah. whoever it was on that stage did very, very well. Oh, that was me. Oh, oh was that was you? me. Okay. If you said it was shit, I would have said yeah, it was someone that's else. Yeah, that's how it works. No, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Oh no, that was me. I'm yeah. disappointed you didn't get your cock out on stage, though. I was desperately wanting to get my cock out on stage, but you know, you know, it was too many people, and sometimes it gets embarrassed. I get a bit embarrassed. You get self-conscious. I do get self-conscious because it's small, beautifully formed, but small. Yes. So. Yeah, yeah I've, I've dropped that line a couple of times. Well, don't worry about it. It works, it does work. Yes. If they love you, of course. And obviously, Venom, is a classic metal band, obviously, you had such an influence on so many genres, so many groups. So, when you were starting out and you were sort of making those initial albums, obviously, you weren't there for the start of Venom. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of rolled along the same railroad track, so right, we, okay. we were all kind of friends and we all grew mm. up together and we're all label mates. And I guess our kind of synergy, the music was kind of the same. I went a more, um, uh, uh, the same kind of track, but not the satanic thing. They went the mm. satanic, um, but but I didn't. So I was kind of there from their formation and the whole thing, and it excited me, mm. you know, when, when friends were doing that. And it's quite strange now because the the controversy of like, oh, they're black metal, and Venom's not black mm. metal, and, and when you listen to black metal, it's like, well, no, they're not. Mm. I mean, black metal symphonically probably owes more to battery, you know? Yeah, it does. As a yeah. sound, you Celtic know? Frost and yes, stuff like exactly. That, yeah. that, incredible orchestrated pieces um, but inspired as they were by the grotesqueness of Venom you know that loose we couldn't give a fuck it's just a, an, an event and I think uh, that's what I always loved about that because I was a punk and I loved mm. that just happening you know and, and I've taken us all over the world playing clubs because I get the proximity really close yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the atmosphere works when it's the audience and us and and usually like today we, we, we did Witching Hour and usually when we're in a club scene that's the moment everybody just becomes one thing mm. you know we all separate and we're all getting into it and by the time we hit that it's like an apex of just togetherness you know and and it's a wonderful feeling and I think that's the beauty of Venom the, the history mm. what, all the music that we've done myself in Manchester but I wanted to play the whole legacy I'm not interested in the politics I know Conrad yeah, was here yeah, last year and that's like yeah. whatever he says they said it's like oh my yeah, god right. you know it's the music that matters right at the end yeah. of the day music is an emotional attachment do yeah. I do I Am I moved by that? You know, you, you'll watch a band down here and someone will go, fuck, I love this band. And someone else will go, yeah, they don't do anything for me. Why? Does that make them bad? No, it speaks to me, but not to you. Mm. Someone else speaks to you and not to me. Yeah, exactly. But when it speaks to you, it just speaks to you. You don't know why. It mm. just does. And and to be able to play, but at this stage and all that, to be able to play a single, the first single, Live Like an Angel, from 1980, mm. and have people react as if it's the first time they've heard it. Mm. Uh, man, you can't get you can't get better than no, that. That's just you can't get better than that. Like Priest last night. I mean, the Priest play Ripper. Oh, that was amazing. Who gives a wasn't shit it? when they wrote it? It's like, oh my God, it's the Ripper. Yeah, it's, al it's always going to be an anthem. Always going to be an anthem. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Me Lemmy is the spades. On and on it goes. You know, yeah. good songs are just good songs, and you feel great when you hear them. And that's what it is at Absolutely, the end of the day. Yeah. If we played and people were like, Nah, it's not doing it for me. We wouldn't be playing. Mm. You know, we wouldn't be keep touring you know it's it's we're, we're, we're touching the core of people because we don't have the bullshit around us you know I'm not wearing sunglasses I don't have the hair we don't stay in five-star hotels we don't have our own layer jet we just go plug in and fucking play and um, and that, that all the other stuff is good as well but but that's just basic good that's, that's part of the appeal of Venom as well is like you weren't you were excessive in the music and yes. that it's excessively heavy but you're never excessive like I guess personally you always appear no. on stage as like normal guys yes yeah 
and and you know, and I know, I know. Lemmy once said, and I, I read when Lemmy once said that you know, uh, nobody wants the guy next door to be the rock star. They want mm. like the mystique and everything. Mm. And I guess the bike guys when they started, they had that the, with the names. They had a kind of mystique thing. Mm. You know, for me, I'm quite open on social media, uh, and I'll go and chat to everybody. That doesn't mean like I'm always good guy. Maybe yeah. I'm a bad guy, but yeah. but you know, I want that accessibility because I want them to know that look. I want to inspire you. I loved music, and I had bands I loved, and I I wanted to do that too, and I'm doing it. So can you? So can you? You know. So if there's young bands today who are out there in the audience, might be headlining in two yeah, or three years' time. Yeah. That's that's the target. You know, we hand the baton to the next generation and the next generation. And the great thing about rock and metal music, it's forever. Absolutely. It's yeah. just forever. You know, you I could I could go to the hotel now and put highway stop. And it still sounds fucking great. Yeah. <laughs> I could put, you know, Sabbath war pigs. Why mm. Sabbath? It sounds fucking amazing. Mm. It doesn't age, you know, because mm. it just makes you feel a certain way. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and, and, and I hope that's what we do. Mm. I'll shut up now. So no, you, no, it's fine. That's your fine. Turn, no, because I talk a lot. No, that's fine. I, I was going to say you talk about their sort of being mystique in rock and roll. There was, in some ways, there was a mystique about Venom to begin with, because people were wondering, oh, are they are they satanic? Yeah. Do they actually believe what they mean? Yeah. So did that sort of, um, I guess, that debate did that ever grate on you? Like, no, no I don't think so. Tenor. You know, I, yeah. I, I, I mean, the guys used it as a, as a tool. Yeah. The same as kids with the makeup or something. Mm. They, they combined a whole load of things together and made this grotesque ball of snot. They yeah. called it venom <laughs> and just threw it on the ground and people went, oh my god, what's that? And they shit themselves. And the kind of that mystique grew. And over the years, it's kind of peeled away. You know, I, you know, I, I, am a Luciferian and stuff like that. They're not religious, uh, uh, yeah. but I'm not actually uh, religious in, in that kind. Kind of way. I just believe that you know, uh, it, kind of like a levee thing. Be good to everybody. Don't transgress on anybody. If yeah. they then transgress on you, fucking, there's no rules. Mm. But you know, just be nice to everybody. Mm. You know, uh, uh, let's start from that point. Uh, and uh, if you wake up every day with a smile, you might end up with a frown. If you wake up every day with a frown, where's it going to end? Mm. You know, you could, yeah. you could not be here. So I guess, um, I guess they just used it to to spark. A thousand years later, you can't shock people like, anymore. With that, yeah. you know, so but I've but I I drew from the teachings and and put together my own kind of ethos with about it, you know. So I kind of follow it. And, and the new album we did, Alvia, from the cover um, piece to to the theme, other than the heavy metal theme of it, it that's what it's about. It's about speaking to us, you know, you know, believe in yourself, you know, believe in yourself, you know, everybody will have an opinion, many people will say no to you, but you only need one person to say yes you know and, and just believe in yourself you know when everybody will doubt you when everybody will say no, fucking you've got no chance if you think you can you can do it absolutely and so and I think that's, that's, a, that's a good lesson for the young bands out there absolutely that's L- listen passion. to him he knows what he's talking about just keep your passion you know I said I said that it's like believe in yourself mm. John Cezula Mega Force Records successful yep. for Metallica and Anthrax and he's like my older brother and John said to me Tony when I was going fucking hell you know Everybody's going no, no, no. He said, he said they can all say no. Only one person needs it takes, to say. Takes yes. only one yes, doesn't yeah, it? So yeah. So you keep going. Never, never be done. Mm. Never be done. And I want to move on a little bit to talk about um, the new album, Arba. You kind of hinted at it. Yes. It came out last year, yeah. and it, when you initially formed um, Venom Inc., it feels like mostly you were on tour. You, you know, you're playing the classic Venom anthems and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was the goal from day one always to release new music with Venom Inc.? No, I mean, I, you know, the whole thing with Venom Inc. was an accident. Mm. You know, uh, we got invited to a festival, Keep It True in Germany, and uh, the guy invited us as Empire of Evil as we were playing our Empire yeah. stuff. And then he said, Oh, could I book you as Empire? And what if Abaddon turned up and you maybe yeah. did for a fight just for some fans? So it was a bit difficult, but I made it happen mm. and we did it. It was literally like the next day people thought we went to I'm going wanting to book us, and we went to China. It was the next thing after one show, we went to China. I was like, What? We're in China now, Japan. It was like, What's happening? So we kind of just went with it. And I said, I don't want to get involved with music deals and all of that bollocks. Let's just play the music that you yeah. have, which everybody wants to hear. And and so that was the idea. So people go, now nah, they're only a cover band or they're only doing old stuff because it was like, yeah, but that's we're only doing what the fans want us to do. Yeah. And I want to, I want them to see everybody. Yeah. I don't want them just to be able to see Conrad because he doesn't want everybody to see those two. So they've got a right to see any 
anybody they want to and and hear all the music so if he won't do it we'll do it so we'll play all the songs if he won't play all the songs we'll play the songs from the arms he won't play or the b-sides of the singles so i just wanted to bring the music out to the fans and let them have everything that they wanted to have and that was the intention and then it, uh, after two years of touring john Cezula was going you're going to make an album and it was like but we you know why and and i was pushing really hard away from it and he was pulling me in and eventually went okay so we did some demos sent them the rest was history it's like oh my and now we just released war as uh, that went out yesterday on Nuclear Blast and now we're writing a new album it's like yeah. hang on this... already writing a new album yeah wow. we already got it ready that'll be out in March 2019 oh no way that's awesome yeah it's like we're a machine now and when people are going yeah but you're you're always doing stuff and I said yeah but if you're in a band you write some new music record some new music release the music you play some shows then you write some new music you record some new it doesn't take six years to write a fucking record yeah exactly it doesn't take ten years to go like oh it's ten years since we did the last show we might tour it it's like yeah I just want to keep doing it mm. you know time's running out and I know it's running out and and this is what I want to do and when I watched my hero Lemmy go out on stage mm. going this is what I'll do knowing that he was going but he didn't stop it's like that inspired me to go that's what that I want to do living life to the fullest, that's that what was, I want to do yeah. I want to go out playing music that's mm. why I'm here so so yeah the more we can write the more we can do brilliant I, I must admit, when I first heard, um, oh yeah, you know, Venom Inc is making an album. I was a little bit surprised by it because I, you know, I considered you like, you know, like you know, a touring band. You know, you yeah. play the Venom classics. Yeah, yeah. But now, now that I've heard the album and I've heard you play the classics, um, sorry, the, the new stuff. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. You did in on the with, stage. in with the classics. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. I, now I, I totally get it now. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I, I listen to it and it's like, like this new stuff can stand toe to toe with the old stuff. Yeah. So I, when you were writing the record, did you go back to the classic Venom? No, stuff? that was one of the things that, to be careful because. I said to Jeff, if we try and plagiarize yourself, it isn't real. Yeah. We can't plagiarize yourself. We've been playing all these shows and the energy, people were asking for live albums and stuff. It's like mm. a live fucking album. What of all these old songs? It's like, yeah. no, no, you can't do that. There's so many things out there. But I said, all we need to be is us. Who are we? Let's write and play the way we are. And that's what came out. It's like, that's who we are now. That's mm. who we are. And that's what I love to be able to play a song 30 years old against a song that's like a year old mm. and it's a fit now uh, well that's all you want that's all you want that means it's genuine you know we play just as hard every show if there was 10 people out there or 10,000 people out there we would have played the same show we've been just as energetic yes before, because yeah. that's why we're there is it hard to keep that passion going after you know, now, 30 years you know it, it it I thought it might be okay but this is what keeps it going. Mm. When those audiences lift up, you see young faces. Some people who weren't even born when Primeval went out. Yeah. And <laughs> you see them singing and like there's a kind of passion. Last night in Brule, uh, um, in uh, sorry, Belgium, I went down to say hi to some people afterwards. There was a girl desperate to talk to me. She said, I was 10 years old. And I went as in the record store and I bought a compilation. I'd Celtic Frost on Bathory, I'd Venom Black Metal. She said, I thought, oh my God, it just spoke to me. I went and bought the album Black Metal. She said, I'm 22. I've listened to it every single day of my life. I was like, oh my God. So she went, I'd never seen the band, but you played Black Metal. I said, how did you feel? She went, my whole body started crying. She Aww. said, it was like, I've never felt that kind of emotion. That, does it inspire That's you to really keep sweet. going? That's so it. Sweet. That's it, you know. We played in uh, Washington State. I came off stage, there was an older guy, big white beard, looked like Father Christmas. Tears coming down there, I walked past him, I went, you all right? And he was like, mm. and then I went back in to get some, yeah, I came past, I said, are you sure you're okay? Are you, you know, you okay? And he went, yeah, yeah, you did this. I said, oh shit, did I hit you? It's your fault. And he went, no, when you played Poison, I was like a 15 year old kid again. I said, I was 15, and I could feel the tears just coming down my face. I felt it, I said, that's beautiful, that's the target. Mm. Does it feel like the first day you ever heard it? Mm. If we can do that, we've won. That's all I want to do musically. Mm. The politics is the politics, but yeah, that's absolutely. what it's about, you know? And I wanted to ask as well, with Venom being like, you know, originators of so many styles of metal, um, are there any like really young bands that are drawing your attention at the moment? Maybe you know, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm 
they're kind of promoting a band called No Raza at the minute, uh, No Race from Colombia, you know. Um, I mean, there's millions, Rosette and uh, Tantra, Rosette from Germany, Tantra, you know, I'm into Thrash, so Dust Bolt. Yeah. I mean, you know, we toured with some of these guys and you see them and think, fuck it, Ultraviolence from Italy. You know, they have a hard time getting out of Italy, but when you hear them, they're singers like, he's like this, he looks like he's eight. <laughs> and then he gets on stage and it's like, fuck it, he's got bigger nuts than anybody I've ever met. It's like his voice is like, where did that come from? Oh, sorry. That's um, right, that's right. But, but that's, for me, that's what it's all about. I see this, they're inspired, and then they come to us and they want to give me their music, and I love it. I, I mean, I think I've got a stack of about 400 CDs now from all of these bands who give me them on tour. And I listen to every single one, and then I post it on Facebook, and I tell people to go check it out, and then people go and go, oh, I'm getting this new music, oh, I heard this band and that band, and it's that, you know, it keeps mm. that going, that inspirational thing, you know. Which is wonderful, you know, and it's it's like the field's been cultivated so much. And whenever you go in the world, people go, yeah, well, metal's not what it was. It's like, I'm telling you, I'm looking at it. It is. People it's that say much. that just aren't looking hard enough. They're not. They're not. They th they, maybe they get sidetracked by genres too. Yeah, that's I'm a good this, point. I'm that's this, so I don't listen to that because I'm this. It's like, no, 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 just open your mind. Absolutely. You know, back in the day when we went to see shows, I, I would go and see ACDC with my motorhead thing and rose tattoo and whatever. Whatever it is, the kid, kid next to me had Rush and Sticks. I didn't go, oh, you're into Rush, oh, you're in. Yeah. It was like, we didn't give a fuck. We were all we're at the that. same show, who cares? Yeah. You know? And yeah. yet now there was a band, a, a friend of mine played a, a new uh, um, a, a thrash show in Northern Italy and, and they didn't get many people there. And, and some people I know who are into <laughs> traditional thrash said, oh yeah, but it's new thrash. I went, oh, stop it. Yeah. Stop it. It's just thrash. And I said, the band is off the planet. You should have went and they were like, well, you know, they're just young kids. I said, so? I said, you know, it's it's closed. Don't close your mind. Music exactly. has never been closed. That's a good lesson to end on. Absolutely. Keep your mind open. Open your mind. Thank you so much for hanging out, man. You're very welcome. Demolition Man from Venom Inc. Thank Absolute you so much. Pleasure. Go out and buy Ave. It's fantastic. Buy it. And it's full of Christian pop anthems. Christian pop. And the new single War, that's on a 10-inch. Yes. Now, it's 10 inches of pure pleasure. Yeah. Unlike <laughs> my cock. We're back to your cock again, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cook. We do. That was amazing. You brought that full circle. Oh, wasn't that good? That was. A, you should have. See? You should have my job, man. <laughs> Thank you no, so much, man. You Thank you. Right. Thank you so much. End it there. Thank you. <laughs>